after breakfast with the family, a cup of coffee, I start my day. We're gonna work on stretching a portion of our fencing today, about 100 feet. I just concreted these poles. I made one H brace and I still need to make another H brace. It's a cool, crisp, breezy day. Both of these ends I'm putting a gate. One of them's only four foot wide and then the other one might be 16 feet. So I think it needs another diagonal brace on both ends to hopefully prevent sagging. The more I do my fencing, I'm realizing there's something very therapeutic about building a fence, especially on good weather. And you can see the result as you're going. It's very satisfying and relaxing. Now the fun part, we need to stretch some fence. this truck Woo. like a champ getting it done guys you find little ways to make it happen
In previous videos, I show you guys how to stretch woven wire fence two times, two different times. Well, I'm gonna use my truck this time. Uh, let's try this. the bumper got to get it started on the chain Once you get it started you can just get get going What I need it to do is stand up on it. I have more vertical space here, but now it's kind of laying down, so. Now we need to, I think I need to put a nail staple into this to help me prop it up. I'm not putting it in, I'm not putting it in super tight. There's an ant hill right here. moving the truck now the trucks moving <laughs> the mighty mini so the mini truck moved. It was there, it moved all, way over here. <laughs> I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. chains are tight I would say uh, I don't know if I would do this I mean I guess if you're in a pinch you could always use this mini truck but I think it's just enough that makes it pretty tight I and mean, it feels tight the top on that feels tight um, and also if it had a bar here that was vertical to lift this chain up a little bit higher I think that would help release this and we have to wrap it around this post So I'm going to go about there.
All right, and just like that, we're done. Being that this is my 11th day building fence, it does, well, I shouldn't say it gets easier, but you do get better at the fencing. I would say this is my best fence yet. It's nice and tight, and the more you do anything, you should get better and more used to things. The next step for this is we need to put a gate right here. Just a four foot gate. Hopefully my measurement was correct. Now we put in this fence on this side of the poles. So that way my animals, I'm trying to contain my animals. And if they bump this up and move forward, it'll less likely to be popped out. Um, also I'm putting, eventually, I don't know when we're gonna do this, but I'm gonna be putting wood fence that goes across uh, really that's just for aesthetic but also it would, it would make it a stronger fence for sure and then and then over here is gonna be a big gate I'm thinking a 16 footer maybe two 16 footers from there and then the next step guys is we're going up a property we have a lot of grasses and trees we need to clear before we put fencing man it's starting to look like something we're starting to look like a farm here Wow so two days typically two days for a hundred foot of fence it takes me one person you know you're, you're putting the and this is for wooden posts T posts I think I'd be a little bit faster one day putting in the posts digging holes the next day stretching fence all right you guys are not moving yet we have to move Zeke and Ovira right now All right, pig. Excuse me. Excuse me. I already set up their fence yesterday. Here she comes. Look big, girl. Look big. So patient, pig. You guys let me set up my shot too? Set up my camera? Hey, pig. Hey, pig. That feed keeps them occupied while I move their shelter. We've had some really beautiful days lately. It's feeling like spring, but can't get too excited because around here, the weather likes to fool you. A false spring is what they call it. That's real. So don't get too excited, don't, don't be planting yet. But we're getting close there. <laughs> 